This vlog is a compilation of the last nine months of 2023. I started off, you know, trying to catch up a few months at a time, and then we just got way too behind, and I just had to throw everything in one vlog. I did it because I find documentation to just be so rewarding. Being able to take the time and look back while I'm editing and then also after the video is done and watch the whole thing and then even months from now being able to watch you know where I was at this point in my life it's so rewarding to me. I also happen to have a few people that seem to be interested in my life as well. Thank you for watching. So I wanted to do this for myself. I wanted to do this for you guys. I did want to catch up on everything um, but I also didn't want the video to be insanely long. So what we did here is kind of going for slightly less edited feel, although I do feel like it actually ended up looking pretty good. Um, I like to call this like a scrapbook because in a lot of my other vlogs, I like to have more of a story kind of plot line, like taking you through one event after the other in a way that makes sense. In this one, it's nine months. So everything is like chopped together, um, some parts are a little bit more fleshed out into a story of like what was happening in my life and then there are other just random clips that I just wanted in there because they're special to me and this is my scrapbook. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm so happy to finally be caught up on 2023. Well, not entirely. After this vlog is posted, I have at least one more vlog to post about an art show that I had in Utah in 2023, but that's coming soon. Um, so once this is posted, once that is posted, I will be done with 2023 and I will be able to update you on 2024. I'm actually currently in the middle of doing an art residency for the very first time, which is so fun. And I am vlogging that experience. I've also started with something I've been working on for the past couple of years. We finally launched at the beginning of this year. It's called Passion Fruit. And it's a YouTube channel on here, as well as Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And that's been taking a lot of my time. And I want to tell you guys all about that too. And there's just so many things that I want to catch up on. I just felt like I had to um, catch up on 2023 first. I really like YouTube. I really like being able to document things. I'm just finding it more difficult to have time to do so. Every video that is finished and posted is a little victory for me. Okay, all that being said, enjoy the vlog. So many wonderful things happened in the year of 2023. I look back on it fondly. In my previous vlog, I talk about my experience with major anxiety that was triggered after getting engaged at the beginning of the year. To put it lightly, that really, really sucked. But after working through those complicated feelings, the rest of the year was overall a really beautiful time. feeling is a cool breeze on my left thigh. My curls blow gently toward my face but never touch. My senses reach like fingers into the air around me, pulling out single notes from the score. If I am the compass and true north is my eyes, then birds sing to the southeast and sun sweeps in from the west. White petals speckle green leaves to the north and my true north on his green eyes rests. Thank you. I am doing this really cool collab with an artist here in Chattanooga. What we're doing is trying to make this um, like physical life-size version of the old, I think 2011, 2012 Barbie website. dress up.
Looking good. Looking good. Now I'm ready to meet my friends. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Free ballet class! <laughs> So I'm gearing up for my show, which is not this Friday, but next Friday, with this being the last couple of weeks before that, and the last week before I install. Definitely feeling the nerves, the pressure a little bit. I'm probably gonna be taking lots of walks this week to calm my mind, to get clarity. Set, go. go. Wait, somebody, uh, when are you guys gonna <laughs> Wedding dresses today. I'm about to try on a wedding dress. I am nervous because the first one I tried on was really, really nice. I went to David's Bridal with my mom and I tried on several, but there was one that I really, really liked and I hadn't expected to like it. Like, I hadn't expected to buy any dresses there. I'd kind of had this vision of getting like an, a, an antique vintage dress. Um, this is an antique vintage dress so yeah anyways the one at david's bridal i really liked and it threw me into like major uh indecision for the rest of the day and i don't want to do that with this dress so i want to easily decide whether i like it or i don't so wish me luck something to make our art piece for you tall. Why do you look so creepy? Don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> this has everything we need. Look what I found. It only has one hook, but oh my gosh, my trinket. I hope you feel better, bud. My sister told me to bring some clothing options for her for the Barbie movie. This is what I brought. Okay, so a really fun project I've been working on recently um, just for fun, literally, is making a magazine of a couple of my favorite photo shoots. So I've just been offered a TA position at the university I graduated from, which is exciting. Like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited about it. I think I haven't entirely come to a decision yet, but I think I know what I, well, I think I know what my decision is going to be. Like I'm 90% there. I just wanted some time to like clear my brain and think about it for a little bit and just kind of like, I don't want to overcommit myself, but honestly, I think it's going to work out. and. It, It'll be really good experience, something good to put on my resume. It'll be nice to like, it's for a studio class. So there's like lots of cool discussions and looking at other people's art. So it's honestly a really fun position. So 
His family's birthdays, except for him. she had everybody do in class was a fascination map making a fascination map and basically that is just taking like all your interests like all the ones you can think about the things that are on your mind the things you're obsessed with right now like whatever you like writing it down and um, getting specific with it as well and then also asking the question why you like it or what about that thing do you like all these things that are feeding you feeding your mind they all can contribute to art practice and do um, maybe subconsciously, but just looking at all that and then it helps you kind of define your art practice a little bit or get a good direction for it and I just got really excited about that assignment. I'm gonna do it myself because I need to do that. I haven't done something like that in a while. This class is gonna be great for me. Like I'm basically taking the class again. <laughs> One of the most exciting things for me is getting excited about art and ideas with other artists and coming back from a, a critique with the studio class that I am TAing for and I am just riding a wave of creative inspiration right now. I love the class. I love every single person in the class and their ideas and I'm excited about them. It's so beautiful as an artist to be surrounded by inspiration and to be surrounded by other people that have that inspiration and are inspiring you and you're inspiring them. Zoom meeting for my first residency. Like I'll need to walk through like a donor or like a third party or something. But you feel my beating heart. <laughs> <laughs>
my magazines. I haven't looked at them yet, but I'm gonna do the reveal. Side A, uh, side B, moment of truth. Oh my gosh, looks so good. <laughs> this is so cool. When did you? <laughs> it each comes with a playlist. The playlist that we use in the shoot. You can scan it to get to Spotify to listen to it. This looks so good. Right? It's so cool. Dude. I'm giving one to each person that modeled in the shoot. I love so. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't sell in as many markets this year. My efforts with online marketing have dropped down to almost zero, and I took on significantly less commissions. And yet, 2023 saw significant steps forward in my art career, as well as much growth in many other areas of my life. And I say all this to remind you that success is not linear. It shows up in many different forms, and flexibility with our dreams and goals is important. Okay! <laughs> Tell me! Yes! No way! <laughs>